Hello friends and welcome to our channel. Our today's video is about ER doctor couldn't believe what he found in the ear of a kid. But before we start, please make sure you subscribe if you haven't already, hit the notification bell and smash that like button. We really appreciate your continuous support. The majority of children hospital admission cases are attributed to injuries. Every year around 12,000 children and young adults aging 1 to 19 die as a result of accidental injuries. In fact, the National Safety Council, National Center for Injury Prevention and Control and other specialized agencies classify injuries as the main cause of death for people under the age of 19. And today's story is about a mischievous kid who not only put his own life at risk but waited for a week before asking for help. Characterized by their lack of life experiences and tendency to get absorbed in whatever activity they engage in, children and young adults tend to get reckless ignoring the surroundings in their immediate environment that can be a hazardous and their lack of knowledge of the world makes them unable to properly gauge the consequences of their actions. Individuals within this demographic age category are pruned to a number of accident types as around 8,000 individuals aging 19 or less go to the hospital as a result of a falling accidents every day. Well, 254,000 are admitted into the ER as a result of bicycle related accidents every year. Child related accidents vary in nature from choking on food to inserting foreign objects into their noses and ears and they all need to be taken seriously and promptly treated as the situation could easily escalate, leading to death. More importantly, kids must remain under adult supervision and monitoring to prevent avoidable accidents without preventing our kids from enjoying their childhood and properly exploring their environment. A case in point is a kid named Louis King who managed to insert an object in his ear while playing. Louis was playing with a pencil when he eventually thrust it inside his ear and snapped it in the middle, leaving a chunk of it inside. To make things worse, Louis concealed the accident for a week before telling his mother, who was stupefied, and rushed the mischievous kid to the ER. Upon their arrival, the doctors examined his ear and probed Louis about the nature of the object, and he said that it was a tiny bit of a drawing pencil. Doctors concluded that the best course of action to take is to remove the pencil bit stuck up the kid's ear as such a foreign object can cause a severe infection or even lead to deafness. The case of Louis wasn't a unique one in the ER department and so the doctors knew what to do, trying different tools to safely remove the object, and it took them a few minutes to get that done. Yet a second examination of the affected ear revealed that Louis had been lying all along as there was another object still lodged deep in the boy's ear. And so the doctors proceeded with the removal of the second object. And after a few minutes of navigating around and trying to get a good grip on the slippery, rounded foreign object, the doctor was finally able to pull out the culprit. In fact, the object was pushed so deep it completely destroyed Louis's eardrum. Luckily for the young boy, eardrums regrow over time, as it can get back to its normal state within six weeks only. Getting back to what was inside Louis's ear, the doctor pulled out a watch battery and most probably Louis used the pencil to fish the battery out of his ear and ended up pushing it even further inside his ear and adding a part of a pencil to it in the process. The reason for which Louis would lie about such a thing and why he kept the whole incident hidden from his parents for an entire week is still a mystery. Fortunately though, the bunch of things that Louis stuffed in his ear caused no permanent damage as such an accident could have easily caused a severe infection or even result in deafness for the little boy. As adults, we must watch out for our little ones and pay attention to any symptomatic pain, discomfort, bleeding or discharge that indicate the presence of a foreign object in the ears of kids. Yet if such a thing happens, there are some do's and don'ts that we must be aware of. One must be careful not to use tools such as matchsticks or cotton buds that would push the object even deeper, aggravating the situation even more. Instead, using the phone flashlight or any handled torch, try to identify the object and see if it's visible and can be handled by a pair of tweezers. Then gently try to grasp the object and pull it out in a straight line without forcing it, in case it was stuck there. Another strategy is by tilting the head so that the affected ear is facing down and see if the object moves out on its own. 
Moreover, one might also try using a syringe to inject warm water in the affected ear and try to rinse it out. And when the object is an insect, it's advisable to use olive oil or baby oil by pouring some warm oil in the ear with the insect in it and keep it facing upward. Yet, if you suspect that the eardrum is damaged, don't try to introduce any liquids that might aggravate the injury or the infection. Finally, it's advisable to call 911 immediately in the case of an accident and let the professionals take care of the situation. Meanwhile, the best strategy remains prevention of such accidents by keeping the kids' environment free of any objects that might be dangerous or put their lives at risk. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies. Hit the subscribe button and activate the notification bell so you'll never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.